Let's take a look at the external fund ID forms. These are unique forms that allow you to accept payments for specific events or maybe even online giving or something related to just collecting funds through your fund ID forms. So we click here on create dynamic fund ID forms. And this takes us to the setup. So let's say you want to create something for a sale. Okay. So let's say this is a t-shirt sale and you say all t-shirts are being sold to raise money for our new banquet okay so then you can add a color if you like to your title it can be a red color if you like and then you want to decide which fund id are you going to apply so we're going to select special projects if you have an image you can click on the image and upload the image here so then what you want to make sure you do in the description is be specific you know we are asking for donations of $25 per person at a minimum to support this great event okay now once you do that if the font size of the title needs to be a little bit bigger you do that you check all your information you've got the fund ID in this case we don't have an image but we're going to select create so let's go to the t-shirt sale and let's see how it looks so notice here there's a unique uh, form URL you click on the t-shirt sale form URL and then it's going to show you what this is going to look like for people who visit this link now when you when you visit this link for an example you'll be able to see what it looks like here's a t-shirt sale again if you have an image that image will take this entire back section so if a person comes here and they are in your database they can just start entering their name and they will automatically auto populate if they're not if they're a new user a new person that's visiting they can fill out the information or if they're just a guest and they want to give you the basic information they can fill this out here so here you see the special projects the amount they would enter the amount here let's say $25 and then they would put any notes that they would want to place if it's a recurring payment okay they can put here recurring and the recurring mode is weekly and then they can say okay once a week or if it's just a one-time payment they can not check that at all and it'll be fine once they click on pay now then again we didn't put in the last name so let's say mark counter and then click on pay now and then the person will be directed to pay all they have to do is enter their email and their card number the date on the card the security code and if you want to be remembered click if not you just click on pay and that's it that's all they really have to do to send a payment for this fund id form so let's go back for just a minute to the fund id and then let's take a look at this again so you can create different types of things it could be a payment for a class it could be t-shirt sale it can be online giving that you want to set up here and then you would enter the fund ids that you want to set up as we did before and then they could select recurring payments or weekly or once a month etc so it's very very easy to do and again this gives you a little explanation here what does it mean by interval count it's the number of intervals between each subscription billing and here's the example when the recurring mode equals daily so if we change this to daily and the interval count is five then basically what that means is every five days it's going to be billed if we change it to weekly and then the interval count is three 
that means every three weeks we're going to request a payment and we're going to make a payment or monthly and the interval count is two then the billing will be an initiated every two months and annually it'll be one and then we would be initiated once a year so obviously the maximum amount is 52 for weeks 12 for months and one for annually then once they click on pay now then they can pay and you'll be fine they can share this they can tweet it on any of the social media sites that we have here available but this gives you the ability to create a form that is simple to use but very effective to capture money quickly and you can paste that link on social media sites or on your church website so that gives you a little bit more help or a little bit more of an explanation on what the external fund ID is for again if you want to create one you can start from scratch the information is very basic but the description is important because this is what's going to guide the person and again you can type in one or more fund IDs doesn't matter how many you type in and these will be used in the sections below on the external fund ID form.